test out something a little bit different today and that is I'm on my own. Hi honey, I'm home. The first ever evening at the apartment without me. Blitz. Not, like, not what he was saying when he was texting me. Welcome to a new vlog. If you can hear something in the background, it's little like uh, cleaning the lodge. So, something a little bit different today, and that is I'm on my own. Nick isn't here. I just slept on my own in the lodge for the first time, I think. And Nick slept at the apartment for the first time. He had some things to do this morning for work. So, uh, it was me and him being there at 8am this morning. So, we said, well, why not go to the apartment? So. We've got two cars now, so Nick took Parker. Last night I had a little drive out in uh, James on my own. And we watched a watch party together with patrons, a horror, which was um, quite fun on my own. Um, and that was it, it was nice. I had a nice night's sleep. Just got up, bed breakfast. Nick is uh, on his way to work already. He's texted me. He'll be back this morning. So we'll be getting up to some stuff. Looks like it's going to be another beautiful day. Um, not sure what we're going to do today. Could always invite some friends over on the deck in for a drink. Or we might go out. We'll see what happens when Nick gets here. Hi honey, I'm home. Just made your breakfast. Good, I've been in the shower. So I'll help you clean this one. I have, thank you. The moment you get through the door with, you the, with your demands. No, bugger off back. Made you some fruit. I'm gonna pop you a, a green tea on. How was it then? What? Your first ever evening. What, the first? Uh, what? Last time it was, when, when you were in hospital. The first ever evening at the apartment without me. Blitz. Mm. Not, like, not what he was saying when he was texting me. I don't miss you. What did you say to me? It's not the same without you here. What did you say to me? Come back then, come back now, set off now. Only because he kept going on about it. No, you didn't. Like, no, you didn't. Don't lie. The minute he got there, he was like, it doesn't feel right without you. It didn't you. feel it right, feel without, right you. without you. You should, have come with, you should have come with me and we could have stayed the night. <laughs> no, but I think we needed that. We've, especially after lockdown, we've been together so much, uh, 24 hours a day. You're going next. Shall I go now? Yeah, but you can take uh, James. I'm having Parker. So I just wanted to say thank you. Nick has been to the PO box. Uh, thank you to Gordon uh, for sending us some lovely next um face masks face masks so uh, gander, so i don't know whether they're the, the filterable three ply or anything let me have a quick look sis. but uh they're cool and Ooh. also nick got a couple more birthday cards so thank you to sonia gary and emily thank you to uh well kirsty we think that's from kirsty it says all my love um, happy birthday, sex on legs, enjoy your day. It says, Nick, you're once, twice, three times a sexy beast. Thirsty Kirsty. <laughs> so thank you very much, Kirsty. What do you think? And uh, two seconds, who's this one from? Oops. Oh, this is from Angela, Scott, Sophie and Rosie. And we actually met those guys yesterday for a coffee because they were over in the area when we weren't vlogging. And she's actually sent me a meat and pie um, voucher for a particular butcher's that's near my mum's. So the next time we're going to go over there, I'll take this string off. Next time we go over there, we're going to um, make Jade jealous and get pie and um, oh, yeah, pie yeah, peas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Nick's just getting ready for the day. We're going to head out to a little town, village, I'm not sure which one it is, called Withensea. We have been there before, but we only just kind of drove through. Uh, we've looked a few more things up to do. There's a lighthouse there and it's got its own beach. So uh, it looks like it's going to be a sunny day. So uh, sun cream on, sun gigs on, and uh, we'll go check it out.
Right, we're just pulling into Withensee. We've just seen the lighthouse, as you saw in the last scene. We've, we only ever drove through Withensee. We've never actually stopped and got out of the car and had a proper look round. Um, but the one, been around once. No, I don't think so. The one thing that I'm looking forward to is a bag of chips and gravy. Mm. Are you? Well... Don't tell me. You're on a diet. Right, we're here. So the lighthouse is there where we just drove past and the shops, although most things look to be closed. Leisure Centre, Meridian Centre, the Adventure Playground and Hut and Toilets. And just down there is the sea, so we might as well have a look at the sea. Where's sign for Chippy? Right, we're on the beach. So sea to the left and loads of rocks to the right. So, and this is behind us, getting loads more rocks. It's a bit nippy. So I'm glad I've got my big coat on. I think we're going to go up there and then just explore just to see what's up there and uh, see where the local cafes and uh, chip shops are. Chip. Where are they going? Chip shop and gravy time. Only if they're going to Florida, you find me a chip shop and be straight there. That's mine. <laughs> what is that? Chocolate orange cake. I couldn't resist. I oh. suppose I could have a little try of it. Oh, right, yeah. Let me try it. What is it? Chocolate orange? Chocolate orange? I think so. It looks like that. Mm. Is it nice? The chocolate oh my God, it's chocolate moist. Is really nice. It's very moist. Here we go. Mm. Oh my God. Nice. The nicest thing I've ever eaten. Yeah. So we're sat in this little booth. <laughs> yeah, just to protect us from the cold because it is a little bit breezy today. Um, so this is where we're sat. You liking your, uh, your cake? Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a picture of it. I'll have this last piece then. I'm gonna say, I'm not usually a fan of eating like a, a pudding before my, before my main meal, but yeah, but. It all goes in the same stomach, so what difference does it make whether it's first or last? How's your fish boy? Small. Small? No. Oh. You've only got a small mouth, haven't you, sir? Yeah, well, that's true. I've gone for a nice jacket potato with tuna mayo, a little watch bit of salad, watch the seagulls. Coffee. Oh yeah, the seagulls about. One's just um, landed on a table over there and eaten a full biscuit straight down into its throat. Not even I can do that. Right, that tuna mayo was very nice. I'm a bit stuffed now. So we've just walked across to this little memorial garden just to have a little mooch. So if you want to come and bring a picnic here, it does have um, sort of picnic benches and stuff like that over there and there. And uh, what's the plan now? Um, well, I've spotted a shop. A shop? A, a, a discount shop. We do need some more hand gel for car. We do trainers in there as well. Well, hand gel and trainers. Right, where are we on here? Oh well, we're there. We are there. We just walked up there and then we came to a cafe sort of here. This is where the amusements are behind us. That was where the um, little memorial is there. Yeah. So this is kind of the centre of the centre. Yeah. And then now we're going onto this road here, coming down this way for all the shops. Yeah. And there's the um, lighthouse. lighthouse. Good spot that. For you? We need something for the um, apartment cabinet drawers in our bedroom. Yeah. The one downstairs has got stuff on that we got from Dunham yeah. Mills. Which we can swap around if we don't like sort of this and we want the other. We can just mix them. You like that one? But I like that, yeah. And it's not bad for three quid. It's like a lolly. Like... I wish it were a lolly. Me too. So I presume this is like one of the. Uh... Oh, oh, oh. What, you want to look in there? Uh... I think it's a bit bling blingy for you. Yeah, it is a bit. It is a bit. Um, I think it's not keen on bling bling. Bling. Apart from James with the uh, black and gold yeah, car. Yeah. Not the limit. Yeah. So as I was saying, I think this is like one of the main streets with the amusements, which I presume are closed. Uh, pubs. Yeah. This is the back of the amusements on the seafront. So yeah. We're kind of one street behind it here. Obviously, not a lot open at the minute, and doesn't look like a massive place. Shops and stuff down there. 
So we're heading back to the car because we've only got an hour on the car park. So there's a few more um, cafes and stuff on his way back to the car. Nick's just spotted donuts. You can't come to the seaside and not have donuts. Like freshly made ones, shall we then? Come on then. Come on then. It's a treat. There we go. Typical seaside visit is not complete without a donut. So we've just got one each. Looks like either boobs or ass cheeks. Oh, let me try it. Mmm. Oh, it's nice. Freshly made in it. Hot. Really nice. Right, we're heading back now. So it's actually warmer in the car with the roof down than it is stood outside. Yeah, it's nice in here. It's nice and toasty. The, the like cabin of James is very, very hot. Like insulated, like we get no, no um, There's wind, no draft. No There's cold. a little bit of draft on the back of your head, but other than that, everything inside, you can have the heaters on and it maintains the heat. That's just because we've had his hair cut and it's, it's short. Well, back. maybe. Right, back to right. the lodge? Yes. this you're having? Rhubarb and custard. Squashies. Oh. Oh, they taste a bit weird. Let me try. Mmm. Tastes a bit like mulled wine. Mulled wine? You not know taste mulled wine, like cloves. Your yeah, face is red. Let me have a look at it. Red. Explain why. Let me just finish this squishy. What's this mean? Squishy. It's not red. We, um, Nick messaged our friend Sheila on the way back and saying, are you in? Do you fancy going, um, sitting in the big garden near her house? We've not seen her since we got back. And she was in and she fancied it, so we just, um, called for her and then walked onto the pub. Two pints of Guinness later, she's as fresh as a daisy. <laughs> I had a nice, well, I want to say nice coffee. It wasn't a nice coffee, actually. It was like nuclear frigging... Waste. Waste. It was so strong. Was she? I had to put about five, um, yeah. I had to put about five milks in it. So anyway, that was, we had a nice catch up with our friend Sheila. Uh, she's doing well. Um, so, and Nick's been sat in the sun. He was to, told him, you did put your hat on, hat on and glasses on and yeah. your head was down. Yeah. Reflective. Yeah. So we're back now. And time um, to chill. This is what we got from that shop. And it's for the drawers. In our bedroom at the apartment, yeah? So we're just gonna see what it's like here. Get rid of my Coca-Cola too. Whoopsies! Should I go get a new one? <laughs> so, oh, it is a bit wobbly. It's not touching it then, you shake it. You're going like this. It looks all right. That's it, perfect. Obviously it'll look better at the apartment because there's, there's no, no TV, TV behind it. Yeah, it's all right. And that was just three pounds. Oh, don't be showing the price. It's stupid. Right, it's time for some food. Nick is going to try something new. So I've never made it before. Here's all the ingredients. We have some diced chicken breast, some tagliatelle from Tesco, some Lancashire chestnut mushrooms, cheese, that Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Parmesan to you. Yeah. Flat leaf parsley, single cream, and some diced chorizo. Right. And what is it? What is it? I'm gonna make. You know when we were at the apartment a couple of weeks ago and we were sorting stuff out on the decking and we smelled next door's cooking. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it smelled absolutely amazing. And yeah. my nostrils literally absorbed all the smells and I think I'm, I can tell what he was cooking. So I'm gonna try and replicate it tonight. So basically, if we haven't told you that story, um, we were out on the decking at the apartment a couple of weeks ago when it was we had that really nice sunny weather and we could smell like what smelled like an Italian restaurant. Oh, it smelled amazing. It smelled beautiful. And we knew it was next door at the, at the apartment because their balcony windows were open. And it was just like we were sat on top of an Italian restaurant. So we don't have absolutely no idea what that food was. Well, we do. Uh, we didn't see it. We could just smell it. But Nick thinks he's processed through his nostrils exactly what that meal was. I can't dig. It was definitely garlic mushrooms with a, with a, a parmesan. And now Nick thinks he is making that meal tonight. Well, being a chef, I'm going to do. So. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put a full garlic. Okay. In this in this recipe, like the whole garlic. And I even what? got a large one on Tesco as well. 
the whole garlic. We're going to absolutely yep. stink tomorrow. Well, that's how you do. That's how you make it. This is that's what you did. I'm sure it is. So you're actually going to put a the line. whole garlic. And I've come to the conclusion that lazy garlic is rubbish because it, it's pickled and it doesn't have the same fragrance and smell as, as um, a fresh garlic. Oh my god. So, don't plan anything this is going to smell tomorrow. like an Italian restaurant in, here in about half an hour. And we are going to smell like an Italian restaurant tomorrow all day long. Delicious. This is good for you it's though, good so for I your, don't mind. Good for your blood. Are you sure this is wise? We've had garlic before in excessive quantities. Yeah, but I think this is. Delicious. Excessive. No, it's not. We know we like garlic. Both of us like garlic. So why not make it a garlic dish? So I don't really know what to call this because it's got chicken, mushroom, and a lot of garlic in it. But it's like a tagliatelle. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I've not followed any recipe or anything like that. I've literally just bought what I think's in it. Friggin' hell! It's going to smell delicious. It's like a, a whole tin of lazy garlic. Yeah, but lazy garlics, you can put loads in it, don't, it's not quite fragrant. Right, I'm not putting the garlic in yet. I want to cook the chicken first. If I overcook it, it'll lose its potency. I've never seen as much garlic in my life going to a, a meal. Delicious. Look at you, I'm thinking you're good. I am good. Half again. What? Half again. Right, chicken's cooking away there. With some onions. onions. And I forgot to give you our opinion on Withensy. Now, taking into account that most things were shut, um, but there were some cafes open and stuff like that. I thought you were going to say most things were shit. <laughs> no, and this is no offence to anybody that lives in Withensy or goes to hol on holiday in Withensy, but from what we saw, there didn't look to be much there. And I, and I won't rush back. Yeah, but it's not a major seaside town. No. Is it? It's more a place where people will go for like a quiet break. Had I known it was so small, I probably wouldn't have bothered going. Um, but so you can't judge it when it's not at its best. So we may. No, that's true. We may visit it again. Plus, I'd like to go to the lighthouse as well. I'd like. I wouldn't mind going up that lighthouse when it's open. Right, nice mushrooms are in. Those mushrooms, if I do say so myself. Might be a bit too much food here. This is like four to, four to six portion here. Well, just save some for tomorrow night. No, no, well. put the, in fact, I'm going to put the garlic in now. Mm -hmm. Need to get it infusing. There we go, a full garlic. Wow. The thing is though, I still don't smell garlic like it smelled when, tomorrow. when so he was cooking. Everybody will that it comes near us. I don't think there's enough garlic. Oh, I'll get lost. Yeah, but I can't smell it. Can you smell it? Is it ready? Oh no, but no, is it? Where's the tagliatelle? Is it ready? Yeah, you're gonna have it like that. Right. Tagliatelle so is gonna be boiled in that pan. Parma ham. Then I'm gonna create. No, it's not parma ham. Pe what's it called? I'm not telling you. Parma ham cheese. Parma ham cheese. What's it called? Do you know? Just tell me. Do you act stupid on purpose? No. Parmesan. Oh ah, yeah. I'm just having a moment. I'm having a mellow moment. So, oh, friggin' hell, we're having garlic and pasta flatbread as well. Yeah. Wow, we're really treating ourselves tonight. Um, and Nick is trying this Singan Tayo. Um, Save the barber ham. <laughs> Sing Tayo Premium Lager Imported. Let me have a little try. Oh, that's nice. Single cream, one whole tub. One whole tub. Should have some white wine in, but I haven't got any. And then a load of grated parmesan, or parma ham cheese, should I say. And then mix all that together. Pasta's cooking. Add the parsley. It's Serve and eat. Uh, the bread is in the oven. This is going to be a calorific meal. I know. This looks quite runny, doesn't it? Right, I've cut this parsley up. So that's there for you. Right, chuck it in. We're having internet problems. Ever since we got back on park, well, maybe sort of like two days since we got back on park, the internet has virtually gone and we can't even like look at images on Google image. Um, so 
what we're going to do tonight if we can't watch TV, can't stream Netflix or YouTube or anything. Um, we might have to talk to each other. We've got to have work. You definitely needed more garlic. I think two full garlic cloves. Given the amount of food that this is going to generate, I think... I'll have to have a great packet here. It definitely needed um, at least two large full garlics. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. We're almost ready to serve. A bit more parmesan and some parsley sprinkled on, and this t-shirt's going to be a different colour by the time I'm done. So, what's this all about? That's tomorrow night. And we've got some more parm uh, some more parma ham? Pasta for tomorrow night. Pa pasta ham. And we've got some more pasta for yes. tomorrow night. Mmm. Mmm. Sound. This is unusual for us. Dinner is served. We had this one. We went to um, Jackie's when we had dinner on her decking. Alright, dinner on her decking in the cold. Freezing cold. At least we won't be cold tonight. Right, what's the verdict? Very nice. Could do with a little bit more sauce. Yeah. I think instead of like 300ml of single cream, it needs maybe twice as much and another full garlic. No way. It does. Mm -mm. I'll just experiment with the recipe. My um, box of Ferrero seems to have been opened. Yeah, if you do what I did, the corner got stuck and the whole thing went on the floor. Ah. A bit of ASMR here. Like, for a Ferrero Rocher. Let us know guys in the comments, do you like Ferrero Rocher? And if so, which is your favourite? I quite like these um, coconut ones. They are delicious then. But what's the, there's like a dark brown one here. I would show it's you. Dark, it's dark chocolate. Nick has um, destroyed the it all over the, all over. So Come and sit here, come and sit here. I'm just gonna eat this and then we'll do some comments for the day. Nice Ferrero Rocher. Um, I was just going to say, it's, uh, well yeah, why have you set the camera at that angle? I was just going to say, this time last night, I were probably in bed. What time is it? 8.47? I was probably, well I was in my pit with my beer and my chocolate. Um, watching a film actually, we're watching um, A Star Is Born with Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. But Nick is going to do some comments of the day. I am indeed. Right. First one is from Zoe, and she says, It's lovely to see you happy, so happy I'm back at the lodge. Uh, so tonight's video went out where we actually got back here for properly last week. Yep. Um, let's pick another one. Uh, Sheila329GB, you should go watch My Drunk Kitchen. The grilled cheese episode is so funny. I don't know what that is. Is that on YouTube? I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's have a little help. My Drunk Kitchen. Steve Milloy says, uh, I have those Wahl clippers. Had the same one for oh, years, yeah. they are good. I need to do some kind of trimming with it now. Bit of manscaping. Bit of manscaping. Well, yeah. we've had, had our haircuts, as you know, so hopefully we won't have to do our own again. Well, I need to manscape at some point. Kieran Farron says, Glad to see you're back in your natural habitat. It still feels weird being here. Because, as I just said to Hannah now, I'm just talking to Hannah on WhatsApp, I just said, when I'm at the lodge, I miss the apartment, which I didn't think I would, and when I'm at the apartment, I miss the lodge. So... Because when I was back there this morning, I remember being in the car park and looking at the hillside and thinking, oh my God, this looks so beautiful. And then thinking to myself, there's no hills over at the lodge, it's all flat. So you never get any kind of like, it is flat over here. landscaping or anything like that. So which did you prefer? You were there last night and you're here today, which did you prefer? When I was there, I preferred the lodge, but now I'm here, I prefer the apartment. You always I just want can't make my mind have. up. You always want what you don't have. Next comment, Andrew Whisker, I'm missing the apartment already, only joking. Glad you're back and, and the lodge. Funny you should say that, I've just said that. <laughs> Lynn Taylor, I'm so pleased for you both, glad, so, glad you're so happy. Uh, Elizabeth Boyd, welcome home. And Shirley Dunn, yay, back at the lodge. Back at the lodge. Fingers crossed for good now. Well, until Paul, at least, what? Paul Wagstaff says, back five minutes and sozzled. Glad you're home, guys. That was when we went to, um, and okay. drank wine on the yeah. uh, Peter and Lane's decking, wasn't it? Yeah, and uh, we needed that, just to, to be back and... Normality. Yeah, normality. Just a, a, 
a bottle of two or wine of wine. Sheila, our friend who we went to the pub with today, we took her to the pub because we haven't seen her in five months ever since Roy passed away. Um, so we basically texted her and said, do you want to go to the pub? So we sat in the beer garden at the pub and she necked two pints of Guinness, didn't she? And she texted me and she said, thank you so much for taking her out. And it was nice to feel some normality. Yeah, she um, did bless her. She has got a dog, she's not on her own. She's got a dog and she's surrounded by friends. Yeah, her sister just lives yeah. like 20 minutes away, so. Yeah. And we're not far from her now, so yeah. she knows she can call us if ever she needs anything. Uh, Nick will be sorting all Sheila's IT equipment out for her and stuff in the future. Yep. He did anyway, but um, whenever she's got some IT problems, um, Nick helps her out. So that was our morning in... Withensee. Withensee. See, it was that bad, you even forgot about I it. I did forget what the name was. <laughs> I, I mean, I must admit, we only saw that little bit of a beach. I'm presuming yeah, but it was closed. It was a presume, closed yeah, town. Yeah. I'm presuming there's more of a beach. That's the problem we have at the moment. There from, is a massive beach there. For vlogging. Obviously, there's loads of places we want to go out and explore, and I've got a right list of places that I want to go and vlog. I found but, a vineyard. But, yeah. Um, so we can do some wine tasting. We'd have to get, like, a taxi there or something, wouldn't we? So well, we I could and, drive there, and you could drive back. Uh, no. Um, but, obviously... Everything's still closed at the moment, so we are getting out and about as much as we can, and we like to take you guys with us when we go out. Um, so there we go, and let us know what you think to that meal. What Nick cooked? It was nice. Oh a bit, God, that it, was delicious. It was nice. It was just a little bit stodgy because you, you ordered too much. Too much there was food, too basically. much. Yeah, well, we put too many mushrooms in it and too much chicken, mm. so the sauce didn't go in, didn't go far enough. So the next time I make it, I'll put another full garlic in it and I'll put more parmesan and more single cream yeah. to create the sauce. Yeah. But did you like the chorizo? Did you notice I put the chorizo Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was chorizo in there as well. I did say it actually when I was reading out the list of ingredients. I would next time cook the chorizo separately and then put it in just at the end because otherwise it turns it pink with all the juices that come out. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Join us on the next vlog when we are going to decide on the day what we're going to do. Uh, what? <laughs> Join us on the next day. Black English. And when we will decide on the day what we're going to do. We've got, like I said, we've got a list of places and things that we want to do. But um, it depends on weather and things, things like being that. Old. And on the next vlog, I think um, you should... What day are we on? What day is it? Monday, isn't it? Oh, no. Probably not the next vlog, yeah. We have got some plans to do it with some friends later in the week. Um, some local friends. So that should be nice for a picnic. We're going to have a picnic. Yeah. So... Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. We'd love to read your comments and we read every single one. If you are new around here, um, click that subscribe button. If there's anywhere you would like us to go in East Yorkshire... Um, or Yorkshire. Well, yeah, anywhere in Yorkshire, really. But East Yorkshire, obviously, is, when we're at the lodge, is closer for us. I feel we need to explore Whitby and North Whitby more. We have done vlogs on Whitby and we stayed in an Air... No, it wasn't Airbnb, it was a no, hotel. No, it was a Whitby. hotel. So if there is anywhere you'd like us to go, um, let us know because we like to go and explore. Claire and Emma's and we always... just north of um, Whitby. Okay, and we always want um, ideas and inspiration. So we'll just, we shall <laughs> see you on the next vlog. Bye. Bye.